Well, we're told that the judge didn't poll the jury, so we don't actually know whether it was 11 to 1, 10 to 2, or if there was an even greater divide. We do know that prosecutors are already planning for a retrial. He was an extraordinary man. Um, he loved the city of Jackson and the many and his many years of community service. The family of murder victim Robert Davis say they're disappointed but plan to keep fighting after a jury couldn't reach a verdict in the case against the former social media and radio talk show host accused of pumping nine bullets into Davis's body. I want everyone to please to re to please remember that justice del delayed is not justice denied. Um, we are looking forward to the verdict that we were waiting to hear today. If you all agree that you're, it's impossible at this point, just nod your head. All right. All right. Thank you. Judge Faye Peterson forced to declare a mistrial in the state's case against William Polo Edwards. The inconclusive outcome came after six days of sometimes explosive testimony. I'm temporarily satisfied with the result. I'm, I'm more looking down the road to figure out what's what's going to happen next. The jury of seven men and five women deliberated for close to seven hours Monday night and Tuesday morning, but couldn't all agree. D.A. Jody Owen says many believe Edwards was guilty. It's important to note that the evidence that was introduced at trial was evidence that showed that William Edwards was on the scene at the time of the murder. Edwards accused of shooting Davis, a community activist, in May 2022. It happened at the home of Edwards' ex-lover, Shadow Robinson. You knew that, that they were going in there and he was, what do you mean? He could have killed her. After this outburst from Robinson on the witness stand, the defense told the jury in closing arguments she shot and killed Davis. They say Robinson had a history with guns and violence because she'd served prison time for shooting and killing her boyfriend two decades ago. The jurors are the power here. They're the ones that make decisions about what's right, what's wrong, what's true, what's not. And the Hines County DA's office says they were working with Judge Peterson to come up with a date for a new trial. We don't know if the two have been able to agree on anything yet. As for Edwards, his attorney says he plans to ask the judge to grant him bond. Edwards has been held without bond since he was captured four days after the shooting. For now, we're live at the Hines County Courthouse. Ross Adams, 16 WAPT News.